Hi guys, welcome to today's video on naming compounds too. Have a look at the worksheet and make sure it's the right worksheet you're correcting for homework and then we'll carry on. So it's really important to remember when we're naming any type of hydrocarbons that we're looking to see what type of bond is in there. So alkane, alkene, alkyne, uh, single, double or triple bonds and then see how many carbons are in it. So for example, I'm going to look at number one here and in number one I can see that we have one, two, three, four, five carbons in a straight chain. Remember that's how we name it, we look for the five straight chain carbons. I do see that I have one branch but I can also see that they are all single bonds. So when I'd be looking to name this compound, I'd end or I would count up my five straight carbons and I would say met, eth, prop, but, pent. Pent means five. I know that all single bonds is A-N-E and I also know that a branch is equal to methyl and because we've only one branch it's methyl. How do I know it's a methyl? Because there's one carbon attached to my branch. So combining all these together I get the compound methyl pentane. I'm not sure it's going to fit in the box but we'll try it anyway. The compound underneath it, guys, we go about it the exact same way. We count how many carbons are in it. So compound two. One, two, three, four, five. So again, this time around, we have a five straight chain. So that's going to be a pent two. We also have all single bonds. So that's going to be A and E. But this time you notice we have two branches. Okay, and we always name these compounds from the side giving these branches the lowest number. So I hope we can see that these two branches are on carbon two. There's two methyl branches because they're both CH3s. So taking that, we name our compound 2-dimethylpentane. 2-2, two, two, sorry, sneak another 2 in there. 2-2-dimethylpentane. Two, two, dimethylpentane. Let's go through that name now. The 2 is telling me whereabouts in the carbon it is. The dye telling me that it is two methyl branches, and we know methyl branch is just a CH3. Pent telling me five, and A and E all single bonds. Now, this hydrocarbon is a little bit different. Again, we're going to start by looking for the longest straight chain, and I'm going to guess that an awful lot of you went one, two, three. But what I actually want you to notice is the following. One, two, three three, four. There's your longest chain of hydrocarbons with this guy being our branch. So I can see that we have four straight chain carbons and remember to be a straight chain carbon it just needs to be connected. It can't be disconnected so for example this carbon is not connected to this carbon. There's no bond there but we can see that there's a definite connection between all these four carbons. So there's four straight chains so meth, eth, prop, but. From there I'm looking to see that they're all single bonds and after this I'm looking to identify my one methyl branch which is this guy up here. So putting all of that together I get methyl butane. 
In our next hydrocarbon, guys, again, I'm always going to start by looking for my longest straight chain. And in this one, we do have a clear long straight chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six straight chain carbon. Next thing I'm going to look for is that they're all single bonds. And finally, we're going to look for branches. Now, in this hydrocarbon, you can see we have three branches. So three would mean tri. The next thing we have to identify is that they are all methyl branches. So don't forget a methyl branch is just a CH3. And finally, we have to look at their positioning. So we always try and keep them the lowest numbers possible. So st if we start here, that this is carbon one, this is carbon two, three, four. Whereas if we started the other way, we'd be starting carbon one, carbon two, carbon three. And I hope we can all identify that carbon two is a smaller number than carbon three. So we now need to identify what carbons they're on. So it's on carbon two, three, and four. So when I'm naming this compound, I would go two, three, four, try methyl hex because hex means six and any because I have all single bonds. Right guys, in our next one we're going to start off the exact same way. We're going to look for the longest straight chain. So in if we count up, we can see one, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, but if you actually come down this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's your longest straight chain carbon. So six carbons. Um, so six we know is gonna have hex. It's all single bonds. So that's A N E. And if we have a look, I can see that I have two branches. And both of these branches are one carbon. So two branches and they are both methyl branches. So if we have a look here, guys, to name this compound, to name our branches, we always name them from the smallest carbon. If we count across, it's one, two, three. And if we were to count upwards, one, two, three. So no matter what way we go, the first carbon always ends up on carbon three. So if I stick to this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, I can see that they're on carbon three and on carbon four. So to name this um, hydrocarbon, it will be three, four, di, methyl, hex, ain. Okay guys, next one that we're looking at, again, you're looking for the longest straight chain and no matter what way you rearrange this hydrocarbon, our longest straight chain is three. So I can see three carbons and that's going to be meth, eth, prope. I can see that they're all single bonds and I know that that's A-N-E. Now, we need to start thinking about branches. If I go that this is my straight chain. I can see that I have two branches, one, two, and they're both on carbon two, and they are both methyl branches. And because I have two, that's going to be represented as di. So if we put all this together, I get two, two, because I have two on carbon two, di, methyl, prop, ain. Now guys, while this looks, looks like one of the more complicated ones, it is actually much, much easier to me because it's all spread out and I can see things really clearly. For example, I can see that this is my longest straight chain. No doubts about it. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have an eight straight chain and I know that eight is oct. It's all single bonds again. So that's A N E. Now we need to look at our branches. And remember, we always name our branches from the lowest side. So currently, as it stands, I have my ethyls on carbon three and my methyl. So we have two branches. We have an ethyl branch, this guy. 
and we have Metal, which is this guy. And remember, we all wa always wanted to name them where they're the smallest numbers associated. This guy is on carbon 3. This guy is on carbon 6. If I was to reverse the numbers, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So again, I'm hoping we can spot that it really doesn't matter what way we go about this. I am going to go at it from this point of view. And I'm going to prioritise my ethyl branch. So in naming this, I would have 3 ethyl dash 6 methyl oct ain. Last one. So we start off as always looking for our longest straight chain and I hope we can see in this one that our longest straight chain no matter what way we go is 4. So I could go 1, 2, 3, 4 or I can go 1, 2, 3, 4. But I can see that it's a 4 chain and I know 4 is but. Met et prope but. I know it's all single bonds. So that's A-N-E. And finally, I can see that I have two branches. Here's one and here's the other. I can see that both the branches are metals. And I can see that they're on carbon 2 and carbon 3. Now again, notice 1, 2, 3, 4. Or if I number them from the other side, 1, 2, 3, 4. My branches end up on carbon 2 and 3 no matter what. So when I'm going to name this compound, I'm going to name it as 2, 3, Die because there are two metal branches. Bute in. And that's our worksheet finished. If you have any in questions or anything about that, guys, please feel free to send me a message on Skillogy and I'll try and clear it up for you.